Here we go. Here we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get the family on board. The family. Oh, the family. Lolly, champ, champ. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Welcome, friends and family, and all of the above. Ask big Frank. Frank, did you see um, uh, Chris Bra's comment? <laughs> I thought it was very, very clever. <laughs> oh, I just want to get this, uh, Mikey Garnro. What's going on? And welcome to the inaugural. First episode ever of LegalSteroids.com presents Gearing Up, and that's Gear In. Look at this. I got to show both cameras. First, I'll show the YouTubers, and then there's the Instagrammers. Look at this. I got a whole box of goodies. What's a dope surprise? Who would a clown? K Fitness. What's up, Don Mafia? <laughs> Guys, I got to read you this fucking, uh, first of all, I'm going to wait till the till, till the, the, the crowd gets a little better because I'm going to read them multiple times because they had a fucking great sale going on uh, in September. The folks over at Legal, Legal, Romig, LegalSteroids.com. Dot com. They also, the same guys that are SDI Labs, in case you might know them as that. Quick one, Joe. Are you making a run on being Santa this year? <laughs> just run out of Just for Men. No, what I'm doing is I'm waiting to get a haircut Saturday, and I'm going to trim my beard, and then I'm going to go Just for Menning both. <laughs> Romig, what's going on, my fucking friends and my family members? And a drawl. Look, see? You guys, you've seen these guys' ads in Flex and MD a thousand times over the years. A thousand times. thousand times a day. But now, they are part of the said MSM family. And we are enjoying, enjoying, look, I got a nice little booklet and everything. Got that Psycho Joe back. <laughs> look at this. Buy three, get one. They got so many fucking great sales going on. I'm gonna read you the uh, the September one, uh, and just in just a wee bit. But let's get the show started. I was, I kind of, I, I know it's called Gearing Up and LegalSteroids.com, and I'll answer any questions that you want to ask. It's not an AMA, but everything's an MAA, AMA on my thing. Did you hear Big Rob said he's on DHEA? All right, DHEA is um, it's a regular supplement you can buy in any fucking GNC or you know fucking hey Big Lenny's pancake tits Bradley Moman what's up Brad? Um, basically those things you can get anywhere, um, and it's like fucking two real long steps away from being uh, turned into testosterone in your body. Women take it too, so the, and it's supposed to be good for your memory and stuff. So if women are taking it and it's being marketed to housewives, how fucking strong could it be? I've taken it because I've just seen it in the store and I just grabbed it. It's banned all over Europe. I think I guess it, it's it's really nothing, Hugo de Klaus. It's really it's fucking it's garbage. I'll be honest with you. Now people are giving me cyber psycho. Joe, it was very menti. Yes, I definitely want to have uh, Mr. Joe back. Uh, Mr. Joe is a, uh, um, he's he's a family member now. Hey, Ray Coat, a country crush. We're going to have steak together in Las Vegas, Ray Coat. Ray, I'm telling you, bro, that was a fucking home run, that fucking, uh, that, that uh, place you booked. Tr trust, trust me. Whoa. You see, that wasn't good. You see, know what it is? I'm trying to set up all of this good stuff. Denise, I'm trying to set up all of this good stuff that LegalSteroids.com sent me. But I wanted to show it all on camera like this. Key an hour, hour back. Key an hour back. That last post you just put up very recently. Um, I was very, very, I could not, st that's why I got on this show a little late. I have to be honest with you. <laughs> I was staring at your picture. Yeah, picture. 
But yes, um, what up, Ray? Mr. the trend. That's a fucking good screen name, bro. Team Humanity. Hey, what's up there, Team Humanity? Um, so, oh, ask Big Frank. Speaking of, ask Big Frank. No bull, just ball. Kevin, what's going on, bro? Long time no see. I haven't seen you since the LA Fit Expo. I hope to see you at some kind of uh, show coming up. If not the Olympia, maybe the LA Fit Expo again. Maybe the Arnold, since you're close by. Cosgrove E, what's up? Mark the Golden Jet is in the house. Yes, I'm going to give you the staring at who's pick. Frank, yours. No, key an hour back. What is the green screen background? MSM going at CGI. I had the, uh, I got to get a new background because it's a new show. I want to do something different. Hey, Dale Chance, what's going on, bro? Are you going to be at the said Olympia? Because I want to get to meet you in person as well. Chris Pra, Chris Pra, I, I asked Frank if he saw your comment on the post about this show. <laughs> no, Frank, no, Greg, no, Teresa. <laughs> but September, the whole month, I'll see you in September. Okay, <laughs> that's why I do shows like this and I don't sing. I won't be able to make the limited hard be at the Arnold next year, and then I'll see you there then. I hope you're feeling better with your recovery. That was a real fucking bad car wreck dude like that blows but september huge month in legalsteroids.com's fucking um website 30 percent off and it gets better hang on you just put a code september 30 s-e-p-t 3-0 you receive one of these and odrol juice pack let me see see i i just got all of this stuff. So I, I literally just got it like a couple of days ago and then the holiday weekend and you know where that goes. But here's more Anadrol. Juice Pack, Sustanol 250 or Equadrin. Every product you order. Now let's say you order Winnie V. You get to pick a free, free, free. You receive free and you get 30% off. I hope I'm not fucking that up. I'm just kidding. Sustanon 250, all right? So you guys get it. Go to LegalSteroids.com. You get 30% off and then you get the, all of this other great fucking stuff. I'm going to read it straight off the fucking email from um, Holly, who is the uh, person who's my point person in this uh, new deal. This new deal is, is, I'm very, very happy about it. I'm very happy about it. They're going to be in the magazine. They're going to have a banner. Uh, all of this is going to be, uh, all of this is going to be um, very, very fucking uh, synergy strong, as they say in the, in, the, in, the, in the real world. Where the fuck is that email? All right. And the app, it might be, it might be up ready. I'm waiting for the guy to get back to me. Um, I have the test app, so I, I, it's hard for me to tell which one's which, you know, the real one's up. But I did put a link for this show in it. Uh, uh, live Instagram. Yes. Okay. Buy any product and get 30% off with a promo code September 30, 30. And also receive a product of your choice of either Anodrol, Juice Pack, Sustanol 250, or Equidrin. For every product ordered, you get a choice of one of these for free. How fucking wrong? Bro, you get fucking one for free with every product you order and 30% off of the fucking one you bought to begin with. No fucking brainer. And also, family... Let's show the fucking, how the family does shit. I'm all natty. My body and heart reproduces trend. <laughs> Don't you love the feeling of having slacked off and then you're back on your shit? Yes, but people were giving me, oh, how could you sell that stuff on your, you know, and, and pro, that, pro let me tell you something. I, I just got this package. So I'm going to be trying this stuff for the first time. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say, oh, I did this fucking thousand times. No, I, you guys know me. Full transparency, Piotaro, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start fucking with this stuff. Now that I I'm gonna, I told her, I said, I, I'm going to show it on camera, but then I'm going to, um, maybe I'll just throw it in my bag so I have it with me all the time. Miss 685, what's up? 60, 6085, Shoei, Skittle Bow Peep, 
lost a sheep. <laughs> Blue holes with his feet. Yeah, no, oh, sorry. Oh, do they do international shipping? I believe they do, Lally. I believe they do. I guess if you go to their site, um, illegalsteroids.com, and it's, like I said, it's also SDI Labs. It's one and the same. Um, and these guys have been around for a long, long time in the industry. And if their products didn't work, how could they survive that long? It's, it's impossible. Now, a lot of people don't want to do steroids. I don't know why, but, I mean, but I'm kidding, of course. But they want to do something that's close to it, but also f still feel that they're natty. Listen, I, I, ne I never knock somebody if they say, hey, I want to stay natty. That's great, you know. Um, but it's not for everybody. Test suspension. All right. Now, the test suspension you used to is uh, it's water-based milk, <laughs> you know, but they want to sell products that are close, but you're still natty. And also, if you are a natty, <clears throat> well, I look like I am now after taking two months off, um, I don't want to stack. And here is the, here lies the fucking key to the fucking story, folks. I am only going to do one shot of testosterone a week. I'm fucking with some GH that I had left over just because I want to heal from the spinal surgery. It's more of a healing thing than it is a muscle thing. The testosterone to me is more lifestyle thing. I'm taking one shot of fucking 200 a week sip. I don't want to stack because last time I stacked, my fucking blood was like, if you don't change the oil in your car and you drive like fucking 8,000 miles over the fucking get oil change at... The, the guy goes, dude, another block and this engine would have seized, right? I want to stack, but I don't want to fuck myself up more because I know it, it, it thickens my blood way too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize LegalSteroids.com's products with, in conjunction with my TRT. That, my friends, is a smart move because you already got that... Boom. And now you're just adding a little, a little something, something. You're putting a little, it's, it's like a la carte. I want to get a little of this. I don't want to pay for that big play because I don't have enough money. So I'm going to pay for a la carte and I'm going to get this. And it's not going to hurt me. And then the pocketbook and in this way, internally in your fucking body. So Z, Z, C, I give you Z's. You remember me for the rest of your life. Hello, is Red there? So that to me is a very, a very important function of what stuff like this could do for you when you, uh, when you want to stack, but you don't want to go crazy and you want to be natty, but you want to use this. Listen, if you go crazy and you're fucking stacking juice like that, you're probably going to fucking drop dead anyway. So you're not going to really be any good if you wait for this to come in the mail and they ship quick, man. I, she sent me to Holly sent me the thing. It was great, but I want to get into the topic of the day and the topic of the day, um, too much pre-workout. Or early, I was at the gym early this morning. I still have to do my little light workout. I got fucking screws in my back. I can't fuck around. But I do have to go to physical therapy today. And I'm probably going to be honest with the guy and say, yo, dude, his name is Adam. Adam, uh, my back hurts me a little bit. Why? Well, I kind of pushed it a little further in the gym. How can you, t you know, I, I couldn't. He said, don't do any lower body. Frank. Big Frank, they have a universal in this fucking gym. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. That was the first thing I trained on in 1980 in high school. 200 milligrams for is only going to bring you up test level 15 years ago. So stacking legal stuff and seeing change, huge. There you go. Look, so ask Big Frank. Frank answers. And that's why he's on fucking cover. <laughs> oh, you, tonight's the big fight. Big Frank interviewed both parties of that super match in the arm wrestling, WAL, you got Michael T Monster Todd versus uh, Devin Larratt. And it is tonight. You can get it on, uh, uh, I think it's like a, a Bleacher Report pay-per-view, if I'm not mistaken. Thanks for stopping by, Frank. <laughs> Do you trigger the metal scanner at the airport? I shall tell you on my first Instagram live at the Olympia, because that'll be my first um, airplane ride since the, uh, the thing. I don't know. It'll be fun if it does go off. I guess I'll have to tell them. I got screws in my back. <laughs> It'll show up on the fucking that when you got to put your hands like this. That's how they got it in the uh, thing. He does look a lot like Rowdy Roddy Piper, Devin Larry. Jay fucking Mason Ortiz. Speaking of guys that, that, that love to take shit, J 
Jay Mays, what's up, bro? Welcome to the first, first episode of LegalStarWars.com. Present Gearing Up with yours truly three times a week on free app on Bleacher Report. Thank you, Frank. So you can watch it for free. This is the super heavyweight champion, Michael Todd, versus the heavyweight champion. So it's almost like... When uh, Tyson fought Pinklin Thomas and they had the WBC and the W, you know, BA and all those. There was three different divisions in heavyweight boxing at the time. And uh, they merged them. They merged them because Tyson had all three belts. He fucking beat the fucking, the dick off of fucking all of them. Remember who's it? Trevor Burbick. He got knocked down three times with one punch. Yes, look it up on YouTube. Hacksaw Jim. <laughs> yeah. You trigger one at the courthouse, Polk? Wow. So, hey, maybe I'll trigger one at the airport. I don't give a fuck. What are they going to do? I'll tell them. This, this, put that wand in my, you know. Tell me you love me first. Angel Eyes. Angel Eyes' picture is going to go in the next issue. Because she was holding up the episode with Big Freaking Frank. And I took it off Instagram. And I'm going to use it in the magazine. You're going to be in print, baby. We're going to make you a star. But... I digress. Big John Stud. He, <laughs> he does look like a lot of those guys. Um, but yeah, so Frank did the interview with those two guys in the last two episodes of Big Freaking Frank. And tonight's the big fight. And he, we're going to try to get a recap, uh, you know, and, and uh, reaction interviews pursuant to the uh, to the big the big night. But um, we'll, we'll definitely let you guys know that. Did you see Big Reavers? Who's Big Reavers? I'm not familiar with that name, but I want to, I'm almost finished with my article and I was going to also do a video, probably the nose nose with it. Um, why Dexter Jackson is going to beat Phil Heath for the Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia. Did you see Big Rob's post about John Cena? Hey, listen to me. Somebody says, oh, it's Photoshop. To me, it looked like a real fucking picture. Does it mean he knows the guy? No, I got pictures with people that fucking, I don't know. I took a picture with uh, Bruno San Martino a couple of years ago. Me and Greg ran into him at, when we were at the Arnold. I, I don't know Bruno, but I have a picture of me and him, and he can't dispute it if I said, me and Bruno go back a long way. We fucking compared noses. They're over fucking macaroni. <laughs> On Sunday at 2 o'clock, we eat Sunday dinner at 2 o'clock. So... Uh, but he, I do believe that that is a picture of John Cena with Big Rob Fitness. Yes, I do. I do believe that. Um, but uh, I got kissing and hugging going on here. Frank, Angelina, get a room. <laughs> Angelina. <laughs> Angel eyes. <laughs> um, honestly, I like Big Rob, but honestly, it kind of looks like a cardboard cutter that maybe had at the gym. Nah. I, and that, you can see it's an older picture. They both look different in it, like younger, different. Kirk! Oh, my buddy Kirk! Full Disclosure Nutrition NY.com. Full Disclosure Nutrition NY.com. That's my buddy Kirk Radomsky. You baseball fans, you've read his fucking material before. He had a great, great fucking book about the Mitchell Report. We compared noses and I defeated him. Yes, I beat Bruno San Martino. <laughs> Savage Jono. Um, so. Why is Dexter Jackson going to beat the seven-time reigning consecutive Mr. Olympia? Can anyone take a wild guess on why I think that a 48-year-old Jackson is going to beat, I don't know, what is he in his like, early 30s, mid-30s? Fill the gift teeth. Quarter turn, side nose, face the front, front double knocker. <laughs> Bro, super VH. That's the Van Halen. <laughs> oh man. That that who was who had the P. Kenny had the line of the day yesterday? So far, that's the line of the day. <laughs> front double nostril. <laughs> but um can anybody fucking throw? Tell why. Come on, Hogan, a clouch. You're always good. Phil not showing up. No, Frank. Not at all. No. He'll be there. Um, Phil Heath has had, the last two years have been very different. Uh, uh, Phil Heath, as far as, um, you know, like industry stuff. He had his own company that he launched, Gifted Nutrition. 
And there's also gifted athletics, in which they do like apparel and stuff like that. Um, he left his own company. No, he wants to be, he already said, and this is part of my theory, Kev, uh, Phil is prego. No, he's going to come in and shape this year. I, I think he's, I mean, last year he did have the hernia, and that's not an excuse, it's legit. Um, so you got to cut him a little slack with that. He's making more money doing gay. No, he doesn't do that. That's Kai. <laughs> so Phil Heath left his own company. He said that the, the, he obviously couldn't do the every day to day business operations. He had other folks doing that. He said they were screwing up from what I read. They were screwing up the day to day business operations and they the money wasn't he said he lost money and all of that stuff. So he basically left his own company. And he went to Ultimate, which I believe he was with them once before, before he was with Muscle Tech, before Gifted came out. They signed them. It was like kinda like when there's a, a free agent and a team signs him to a one year deal and he's gotta prove himself kinda and then they Get, get rid of him if they don't, or they give him an extension. He's distraught that Duque doesn't like him. Yes, that's right. He's blocked the uh, the ironic douche. Also known as cease and desist. Phil has blocked said cease and desist. He's, he's ceased and desisted him. Um, <laughs> he's distraught. That's great. Imagine Phil Heath. I just can't get in the train in this fucking year. I can't do it, man. <laughs> Here's Big Frank. What he doesn't like you. The it's the end of your career. Once he doesn't like you. Oh, you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Paulie Walnuts with the Puerto Rican beard. It's a good look, Maze. I love you. Where you been? You been in and out. The a couple weeks ago, you were fucking on fire. Then you would you take a vacation, kid? <laughs> Would you have me on the pay no mind list, kid? Um, so then, now Phil Heath goes to, uh, what's with Phil being so cheap on doing interviews as part of his contract? Well, no, who gonna clash? We're gonna get into that. Um, so Phil Heath, still with Flex, still he has an invitation to the employment line. Yes, true. <laughs> Phil Heath, uh, you know, big Mr. Flex, obviously, while there was still a Flex magazine that was being fucking printed. Uh, and he goes back to Ultimate Nutrition for a one-year deal. Hey, Rock! What's up, Rock? One-year deal. <laughs> oh, fucking 110%. That's a... Oh, God. What a fucking jerk. <laughs> so then, <laughs> what is 110%? <laughs> like, he's got a one-up somebody that said they're 100% IFEB NPC. Like, come on. All right. I'm going to be 112% now. I'm 100% MSM fam. I don't give two fucks about the NFL, the MLB, the IFBB, the every BB. I don't care about anybody but you guys. I got caught up with some white woman. What do you want from me? <laughs> Oh, did she drop a dime on you, bro? You got fucking yanked. Yeah, the, the fucking flat foot came to your door. Saw a hotness today in the gym. Oh, good. So did I. I saw a couple of them. God jam. Finish the story. I know. I'm sorry. I get. I'm like. Listen. I can't. I can't do with somebody that's been mentioned many times on this feed. Does I can't answer, guys. I gotta just do my thing. I got my routine here. I got my cue cards. You know, did you like Big Rod's photo of John Cena? Yes, I think he's fucking buddies with him. Uh, all right, so Phil, he goes out to nutrition, does a one-year deal, and they say, bye, Phil. That's got to be pretty embarrassing. I don't know, maybe not. And then um, he's out of his AMA, AMI Flex contract. They did not retain him when they merged it with Flex. So now he's a real free agent. It's fun. Now they signed him when he was still a fucking amateur, you got to realize, before he won his pro card. So he's been with them, I think it was 05. Long time with Weeder AMI. Then he does an interview with Ron Harris on Goodbye Call. <laughs> does an interview with Ron Harris of MD fame. Um, and both of them are waxing poetically on how great would it have been if Phil was able to do that interview many times over the years that the exclusive magazine contract sucked. I agree that the exclusive magazine's contract sucked, but they really sucked for guys like myself and Ron and, and writers, not bloggers. Well, right, I'm trying to be nice about Ron because I'm, 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 I'm me and his buddy, the goon, we've been you know talking and stuff. So I'm going to just be nice. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, BB Talk only. <laughs> the show is uh, he raises a breast at NBC shows. <laughs> oh, you cocksucker. I love you guys. <laughs> All right, so now who had to tie the pants on, Ron or Phil Heath? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now they're, both of them are like gushing over each other. It was real fanboy type of stuff. Um, and uh, uh, Phil, uh, <laughs> Mark. So Phil Heath is like, oh, how great would it have been if I could have interviewed with guys like yourself and other magazines and Muscle Mag and whatever. I'm paraphrasing, of course. I saw it once before. Uh, I, I It wasn't that riveting that I needed to watch it twice. Um, so then... Um, not only that, but now Phil Heath is on the cover of the, I believe it's September cover issue of MD. Um, I haven't seen it in person yet. Uh, I'll probably try to find it. I don't see it in Barnes & Noble anymore. I know Ironic says he fights over it at Barnes & Noble. But the Barnes & Nobles in New York near me, they don't. They only have like muscle and fitness. They don't really have a lot of, they, they pared down their fucking, their shelves. Um, Gerard Saunders. What's up, I am? Gerard, let's get some drinks, baby. So then he's like, oh, yeah, now he's on the cover of them. And it's an old picture. They didn't shoot him. And I don't know if the interview is another interview or Ron just did it uh, off of the, um, the, the, the video. I'm going to assume it was an, another video, another interview, because publishing you three months ahead of time. So how could he have, unless he taped that video and, and they pocketed it, until the issue is ready to come out, which sometimes is not a bad strategy. So even if they did two interviews with Phil Heath, I, I'd like to take a look at the uh, the print version of it either way. Um, but uh, And then they had another one that he s spoke to him years ago before he got signed by Flex, and they probably just reprinted that one. I thought that was the new one. I'm like, they're putting this online. So now if you are AMI, they keep MD in the bathroom next to the shaman. <laughs> Next to the Chubbs and Shaman. <laughs> if you're AMI, now um, Olympia is or is owned by Weeder AMI. Uh, they used to just be the promote, like the promoter Robin Chang, who's like a, he's like probably the right on the David Pecker who owns the whole thing. But Robin Chang, when I worked for Flex, he was my highest boss. He probably is like the main guy for the whole. Uh, muscle and fitness and not flex anymore. Olympia um, promoter as well. And I don't know Robin Chang that well. I knew him when I worked for him, but I you know, I didn't know him personality wise really. He was quiet. He seemed like a good dude. Got along f fine with him. And um, they were happy with my work. I quit there to go to MD because they were offering me a full time gig that was uh, double the pay. So I went to work for Black. Um, so I left on good terms over there. And if you're Robin Chang and you see a guy that, listen, that exclusive contract was the athletes benefited greatly. I don't even think the publications did that much to say, oh, I'm the only one that can talk to this guy. Does it really fucking matter? I mean, really, they don't write their own columns anyway. You know who writes all those columns? Guys like me and Ron Harris. I wrote almost fucking like, I think there was two or three of us that ghost, uh, you know, we used to be ghost writers for all the IFBB pro bodybuilders. Okay. And Ron writes every fucking column in that magazine. Um, so what is the difference if I, if I want to put Phil Heath on the cover and when I worked for MD, we had him on the cover, you just shoot him on stage. Does it really matter? If fans see Phil Heath on the cover and they like Phil Heath, they're going to buy the magazine, correct? They don't need to see him, uh, you know, uh, okay, I couldn't, do, I couldldn't do his workouts, but I found the back, uh, back door it by interviewing his coach. So now you're getting his workout anyway. Do you really need to see how he does curls? No. I mean, it, it, so to me, the exclusive contract, the magazines were wasting money. The fans got fucked on it. And uh, the athletes were getting... Bank, bank. Imagine how much how uh, he had to get paid. Now this is the top dog in the game. I don't even want to guess how many figures he was getting paid. If somebody wants to throw a guess out there, maybe you know better than I do. I never asked when I worked for these magazines. It was none of my business. I just know that 
They were paid handsomely, to put it fucking mildly. So now they're getting paid handsomely. Do I think Phil is on Synthol? I think almost every IFBB pro tops off like a day or two before the show even, maybe a week before in case you don't want to get a bruise mark, uh, which you can cover with fucking spray tan, even if you're a fucking black guy or a dark guinea. You know, you can still tan the part that you have to. Um, so now you're like, I'm watching this fucking video. I'm Robin Chang, put myself in his shoes, and I see Phil gushing over MD. The quote unquote enemy, uh, the competitor. And he's going, wow, it would have been so great. It sucked that I couldn't talk to you. And now I'm like, as soon as I go, ah, whatever, now he's on the cover. And I'm like, now they're throwing it in my face that this guy, I'm not giving him all that money anymore. And Phil on the video was talking, he had said earlier in the year in a Flex Online column that he doesn't see a, a, a competitor, a top guy that he has to watch out for. Like they're all kind of grouped together, these guys, and they're so, like, you know, he's way above them. I Listen, he has every right to be confident, every right in the fucking world. You win seven consecutive Mr. Olympias, slam dunk wins. I don't even, that one year with Kai being a close second, to me, it wasn't even close. I still think Phil totally beat him that year. So if you're that guy and you have every right to be talking shit, but he's over there saying, yeah, uh, I, I, like he kind of hinted towards when he wins 10 in a row, he's going to hang it up. This is my theory. Uh, Weeder AMI did not, think that that was the greatest thing in the world that Phil Heath could have ever done to help his cause. It's a very subjective sport, you got to remember. There isn't a shot clock. There isn't a first down marker. There isn't replay. <laughs> okay? Let's see if the fucking guy goal got kicked in by the fucking guy or if his foot was in a crease. Um, so, no matter how good somebody looks, does not mean that they're going to win that fucking show. And, ooh, am I breaking ground by saying that? Oh, my God. Holy shit. Right or wrong? Come on, guys. Let's. This is muscle sport media here. You know, this isn't fucking, uh, you know, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> this isn't fucking addicts here, you know? So we, we say and th we think and say. We don't just think. And uh, I think that Phil Heath is going to get spanked. He's going to come in looking fucking great. But so is Dexter Jackson. Dexter Jackson won the Mr. Olympia in 2008 in 10 years. If you don't look at his face, his body looks exactly the fucking same. In 10 fucking years. Now, he got a little older looking in the face. Unlike myself, of course. Chris Bra says it's always been politics. <gasps> I better erase that really quick on the replay. <laughs> we don't ever delete. Bodybuilding is 0% political, Super VH says. Van Halen. Woo-wee. Does that suit look good on you? You get some leg tonight for sure. Come on, Dave. Give me a break. Hey, hey, hey. One break. Coming up. Unchained. All right. Unfortunately, I won't make the Olympia divorce court final hearing. Oh, fuck, bro. Not the Olympia part. The second part. I know you told me that last time, but I still I feel fucking terrible. You're such a good dude. Do you want to get married to me now that you're single? <laughs> Todd on a mission. What's up, Todd? And Jamie P in the house. So that's what's going to happen. Um, Big Ramy's going to come in. He's got flaws. William Bonac's going to come in. Not that he has flaws, but he's very similar to Phil Heath structure-wise. And did he peak at the Arnold when he won? Why isn't a prenup the default for marriage? I don't know. It wouldn't have mattered for me. I had $56 to my name when I walked out of my house closing before we got married. I blew all my money on vacations and discos. <laughs> Thank God I did. It was great. <laughs> so now you got all these other guys. Sean Roden. I love Sean Roden, but I think his, his window opportunity closed two years ago on him. Um, uh, Cedric McMillan is his head in the game. I mean, come on. What the guy finished 10th last year? So I don't see any of those guys beating a Phil Heath, but I do see Dexter 
being right up there, toe to toe with him. Prenups, unfortunately, can be defeated in this all the gynocentric society that is for the women. You're taking a fucking hit, I'm sure, bro. That's That fucking sucks, bro. We, we shall hug and kiss and drink at the Arnold. <laughs> and wake up next to each other. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. We're going to drink, though. I'll even hug and kiss you. You're good, dude. We know each other for like three years now. <laughs> we hung out man, those two nights before. <laughs> well, like, no, four nights, whatever. Yeah, but last year, we were every night. So... That's what's good. Dex is always in the game. Gerard, you know, you're right. I mean, you, you play this fucking uh, game too. You watch this shit on TV and uh, not TV, on the internet. <laughs> what, what am I saying? <laughs> I tried to pull that one back. Um, so now Dexter Jackson's going to get up there. No flaws. You know, fucking poses great. Holds his poses perfectly. Not that he doesn't, but it's just going to be very, very... It's, he's not going to blow fucking Dexter away. I don't understand the need to involve money in the government in your love life like that. You're right. You're right. But, you know, I don't know. It's an unfortunate situation. And 9.9 .9 times out of 10, the man, husband, is the one on the short end of the fucking stick. <clears throat> I hope I never have to go through that, Gerard. I feel terrible for you, bro, because you always spoke highly of your family and stuff, and you're a fucking veteran and shit, so my heart goes out to you on that whole fucking uh, incident. Um, yeah, so Dexter is going to be there, and now it's going to be like one of those things, like, all right, there's somebody, of course somebody's going to go, no, he should have won. Heath is so far ahead right now in his head, psychologically, he thinks nobody's got me this year. As a matter of fact, nobody's got me. I'm going to win 10 and then I'm going to walk. Dexter, on the other hand, has not stated, as far as I have seen, his intentions going beyond this show. I think if Dexter wins, he hangs it up. How fucking great would it be for this sport if Dexter wins 10 years after he won the last one. Hey, Kat Vong. Speaking of people we hung out at the Arnold and drank with, how's C-Dubs doing? Gerard Saunders, Kat Vong. We had the crew of crews. Crystal, Mandy, fucking Moak. So, Dexter's going to be up there. And he's going to defeat Mr. Heath. And, and it's not going to be because he didn't come in in condition. It's going to be one of those things like people can't bitch about this one. And that people's champion means nothing. Uh, it hasn't even been spoken about since they it was first like announced. To me, that's it's just fun for the fans. It means nothing for the stage. He's doing good working nights. Okay, send my regards. Regards. Hey, Rob. That's Big Rob, but it's Big Ass Rob. He got a nice Big Ass. I was playing bodyguard for a seven-foot Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, fuck. But oh, let me say it once again. LegalSteroids.com presents Gearing Up. Wednesdays, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to show you every week. We're going to be talking about all different... I want to try to be topic-related, but I, of course I'm going to take the fucking questions. Thanks to the support. Also, the fills coming in small, especially through his waistline. Dexter, in my opinion, will hang it up. Thanks to you when he hits 50. All right. Uh, uh, Jared's Janae. Jared's doing a 5 o'clock live today. Jared, correct me if I'm wrong, because you said that you said yesterday in that DM, I'm doing one tomorrow. So I understood it as today. And that's why I, I reposted your thing. Um, he's doing... Um, the the you know he wants to do military honor for people past and present yourselves or family members uh it could be deceased family members but he wants to do shout outs to recognize these people that fucking served our country so uh, no i can't what it's something 22 forgive me uh, my my head's in a million places okay so five o'clock dm dm jared before that i got fucking therapy i'll be on the road then i wouldn't I, i'm not gonna be able to fucking Catch it. Breaking news. Shrek was demonstrating sit-ups on a decline bench. Decline bench. And he stuff came when his breast fell across his face. You're talking about our Shrek or the real Shrek? <laughs> Rob supports ISIS. Mission 22. Thank you, Jared. Yes, Mission 22. It's to um, the stats that there's 22 veterans a day to take their own lives. 
and um, they want to obviously fucking do something to change that and make that number zero. So Jared is a 20-year-old fucking guy who's very supportive of the military and the police, and he does a lot of good things for them, and uh, I love him for that. And he uh, he's going to do that show talking about this. So if you want to get a shout out for your uncle or yourself or your grandfather, just DM the guy's name and the branch and he'll do it. And it's worldwide. It doesn't have to just be USA. Uh, P. Kenny was talking and, and, and Shuey yesterday we were talking about they're over in Europe. Dexter is also a big promoter. There's nothing to prove and has made an impact in money in the sport. Yes. Now, Dexter won in 08. Um, I thought he was a good champion. Yeah, come back. Chris. Oh, right, hey, Chris, what's up? Yes, that is the unfortunate statistic that fucking... I wish it was fucking uh, wrong, too. I said that yesterday during the other show. Um, I was like, wow, that's fucked up. I hope that doesn't stand for that. And then somebody clarified and said it absolutely does. So, uh, unfortunately. And and we have a lot of veterans, like fucking uh, uh, Crazy Hawk. Uh, it was, you know, and Thea Renee is in the Army right now. Um, the guys I just mentioned before, a lot of guys that were, and Gerard Saunders is one of them. So Gerard Saunders, um, if you ever, you got my cell number, I don't care if it's three in the morning, I'll, I will dig you up and fucking punch you in the face if you ever do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. You know, you guys know what I'm saying. Have you seen Roly? You see what I think, Frank? I think Roly is too wide here. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. The tattoo, he's got a fucking, he makes his his thing, his midsection, his obliques look flat and wide, uh, which I'm not saying he's got a, he does have a belly, but it just looks almost like uh, Cutler 2.0 refrigerator. So I don't think Roly is going to have that, uh, that aesthetic type physique to win a Mr. Olympia. He can't even open his eyes. Oh, you okay? You're talking about? I did see some recent shit, but I think a lot of that's water retention, which obviously he'll dry out. Um, you know, at the end, the tattoo is to cover his disastrous recti surgery, dialysis. I guess that means you're saying on the typo, but he can just put protan over that. You know, and then you just see his abs. So that's my theory, and. Phil is, the people don't like him, and not that bodybuilding needs, uh, you know, a hero to be its fucking poster fucking child. Bodybuilding, nobody really, you know, we don't look at it that way. I mean, Arnold was the only one that really was a TV fucking face uh, in, in the whole fucking industry. Roley is in purport, that I agree, Mike. Uh it's when the abs separate. Oh, shit, okay. Roley is my favorite. He will never miss Olympia. He's too freaky. Yes, I agree. He, he did win the New York Pro, which is a, it's a good show to win. Um, he's done very well. He's won, I think, I don't know, one of the Arnolds overseas or whatever, I think. Split apart like a pregnant woman. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's diastasis. See, I don't know these uh, things. I, I don't have abs. Well, I'm, I'm getting a little better. I'm getting a little better. Jared, thanks for the support. And yes, 22 a day. I miss up from combat vet. Also divorced. So yes, shit is hard. What's my platoon sergeant just took his leg? Oh, fuck, dude. Come on. I don't want to hear that. Oh, I, not that I don't want to hear that. I mean, I don't. I, I don't want to happen to hear that. Do not ever even go there, bro. Go to listen. This is what you do if you ever feel fucked up. Book a trip for hedonism in Jamaica. <laughs> you forget all about your troubles from eating too much. Stay on that GH, and I'll have abs soon. I'm and I'm going to stay. I'm staying on my GH. I would love to interview you or Greg again. You got it, bro. I'm I'm available whenever you want. I'm sure Greg Greg loves you. He would do it. I would fully expect you to dig me up if I did. Trust me, I'm good. All right, Gerard. <laughs> hedonism. I've been to hedonism when I was a single man, Chris. Let me tell you something. I had a lot of fucking fun over there. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, if you want the hedonism, oh my God, you would fucking drop probably like 10 loads a day because you're just fucking huge. Chicks would be going, I got to see how that is in bed. Is he going to split me wide open? <laughs> this man is just ridiculously large. That place is crazy. Dude, I haven't been there since, what, 91? I mean, I mean. <laughs> Oh, I would love that. I definitely some drops of loads of The problem is it's a sausage fest and the fucking women are not tens. Hence the reason why they go there. 
and a lot of them want to just go fuck black guys. And I'm not on that list, even though I'm a fucking guinea. <laughs> He would have put more bullfish after a trip there. Girls had pubes in 91. Yeah, and I fucking swallowed a lot of them that fucking trip. <laughs> Sounds like a great... Look it up, bro. Look it up. It's called hedonism in the number two uh, because it got fucked up by a hurricane one time. It's like a bunny ranch. <laughs> but you don't got to pay for it. It's all-inclusive um, sex-themed resort. I fucked three in one night. <laughs> I think you know in Jamaica, it's in uh, Negril, a uh, mountainous zone in Jamaica. I didn't do three. I did two because I think it was a solo, then a tag team. And then another night I, I dropped a load and then I, uh, my, I, I, we tag team somebody and I, uh, uh, I was, yeah, let me stop. <laughs> Have you ever got I guess I have. I don't. It's hard to tell where are they coming from because you're down in that whole section. You know, if Big Frank has any friends and family, let me know and I'll give them a shout out. Big Frank, there you go, bro. Any friends or family? I'm sure Frank does. I'm sure he does. There are a few hedonisms in Jam Rock. Um, but Cheyenne Zolfgar, welcome to the program. Welcome to Legal Steroids presents. Gearing up, Wednesdays, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and YouTube Muscle Sport TV channel for the replays. I'm actually I'm trying a different recording uh, uh, program to record this show. I did a different one than I did yet. Richie Burt, what's up, brother? I did a different one yesterday for the Muscle Sport Radio, and I didn't like the way it came out again. So I'm actually doing a, a third one. I will not stop until I get this fucking right. I'm a perfectionist. I know it doesn't look like it, but yes, I am. I just fucking forget to do a lot of things. I'm kidding. What do you call a hooker with white eyes full of... Oh, do not... <laughs> what do you think about... Oh, come on. I would never do that, Hugo de Klaus. Are STDs real? I feel like they're going to have some at this point if they are. Don't jinx yourself, Chris. So that is my theory on Phil Heath. He's too big for his britches and he's biting the hand that fed him for fucking 13 years. 13 years? Yeah, 13 years. Um, so I'm Sicilian, bro. <laughs> Immune. <laughs> oh, you're fucking funny, bro. <laughs> So that's my theory on Mr. Heath and Mr. Jackson. I think Dexter Jackson will be a great one-year guy. And it would open it back up and make it so much more interesting next year. Like, Heath will not stop if he... He will not go away not winning. Like, Ronnie kept coming back. Heath is going to do that, although he's in better shape, younger, I mean, and also not as many injuries. So I think Heath is going to... Uh, make the make the comeback next year. Dexter will it'll be an open belt, if you will, because Dexter will pack it in, and that'll be a great way to fucking to ride off into the sunset for Jackson. And then it'll, it'll be wide open. Can Rami do it? Is Bonac ready to come up? Can Phil win it again after losing it, like Jay Cutler did um, the year after losing it? It would be it's it opens the storylines. Phil Heath is losing limp because he's going to hedonism too. <laughs> Heath's belly button is fucked though. Yeah, but that's you know I think after the hernia surgery you might it might look differently. Or he might just have an Audi. I got an Inny, which is bad sometimes if you know what I mean, guys. Honestly, out of all the pro open bodybuilders, Dexter Jackson is the only physique I would love to have. Very pleasing to the eye. Uh, I, I would like pretty much any of their physiques just because, you know, I'm a fucking, you know, I'm a fucking dopey cement head. But I, Dex is the only one that has obliques like that. Always had amazing obliques. Jared, that's awesome, bro. No veterans than anything due to my age. 47, I have some true hero friends, but I have a following strong who are active. Our military are the true heroes. Yes, yes, and yes. Agreed, agreed, and agreed. Big Frank does a lot of charitable things. And Frank, I would love on one of your... Uh, Big freaking Frank, to talk about that, put some of those videos in when you're with the kids, and um, and do the the, the superhero stuff, and uh, you you visit sick kids and stuff, and that's fucking tear jerker shit, bro. And a lot of people say, oh, how great that is. You do it all the time, 
and the UK as well. Yes, Mark Lally. Yes, Mark Lally was a soldier for uh, England. I was watching a very interesting show last night on um, American Heroes Channel. It used to be the military channel. And it was about Winston Churchill and um, how they were really close to being... Mark was a sailor. Fucking salty semen on the poop deck, huh, kid? <laughs> now he, that thing looks like a baby crowning during a C-section. <laughs> Not soldier. You know what I mean. Any, to me, I say soldier, and I use that across all the branches. It's just military personnel. Uh, lack of a better term, I say soldier. Um, but uh, I, I know you're probably like, hey, fuck that. I'm a sailor, not a soldier. And the soldier go, I was not a sailor. What the fuck are you doing? I'm going to. Great. Awesome. I, I definitely want you to promote that because that's that's great shit. Seaman's names everywhere. <laughs> Swab the deck, Lally. Frank keeps making the supervillains look like good guys. Mind blown. Yeah. He puts on the Jason Vorey. And Frank's involved with the, um, I don't know if I should, maybe I shouldn't say it because that was in our interview. I don't know. I think it was in the story though. So maybe I can say it. The, you know, the fucking Friday the 13th, the TV thing. Uh, he's got involvement in that. We'll just leave it at that. I want Frank to be the one to fucking break that news when it's on TV. But, um, yeah, I think it would be a, a good a good fucking move because it would make... Right now, bodybuilding open division is real boring. And the most exciting thing, I think, about it is... When is Flex Lewis going to fucking come back in the open division? And according to his coach, Neil Yoda Hill, um, 2020. So imagine you have Dexter winning it this year, knocking Heath off. Let's say Heath retains, he goes back and he wins. Then Flex comes in the open and fucking beats him. How fucking great would that be? Wait, you're saying Genova landed a TV gig? No, not Genova, Big Frank. Is hedonism expensive? Probably, I mean, I... Okay, Denise, put it this way. I won eight days and seven nights in 1991. It cost me $1,500. But that is food, soup to nuts, like five times a day, open bar, 20 hours a day, and your basic water sports and stuff like that. Like I won water skiing and I did shit like that when I wasn't drinking and trying to get laid. <laughs> Very little time for water skiing, if you know what I mean. Um, so if I paid $1,500 in 1991... I, I could just imagine and got peed on. <laughs> I love, yes, I do love that type of water sports as well. <laughs> You're in the face. Not in the face. Fucking wide open gullet, Chris. <laughs> do not let a drop spill. <laughs> I know. I stepped right into that one. How's TRT going? Two weeks in, bro. Best decision I made. Had low T at 35. Got blood worked on and found that out. There you go. And it's covered by your fucking uh, uh, insurance, I hope. Soup to nuts. Not sure about the soup. <laughs> soup to bust the nuts. Have you ever had a brown shower? No. No. Golden yes, brown no. Not saying it'll never happen. But I'd like to start slow with a glass bottom boat first or a hot lunch before I go straight for the fucking shower of the brown type. Um, we have about five or six, probably seven minutes left. Um... So you aren't as sick as some. You got to fucking... <laughs> we hang out and drink one night. <laughs> I'll tell you some fucking stories. No, I never had a brown shower. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't lie about shit like this. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm open to it. <laughs> Only on Muscle Sport TV. <laughs> oh shit but how cool will it be when Phil Heath is standing there and he's like then the winner and then fucking Bob uh, fucking uh, chick says the next name you hear will be the winner of the 2018 Mr. Olympia and the Sandow Trophy and the $400,000 check goes to and imagine Phil's face <clears throat> That's when she's lactose intolerant. I only had soft serve. I want to visit New York in a couple of years. Then you're going to be visiting me because I'm going to hang out with you. So you open to having Jane take a shit in your mouth. Yes, and I've told her so. <laughs> she fucking slapped me. You're a fucking asshole, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm like, yes, piece of shit. That's what I want. You're on the right track. Hey, vape lady, Toronto. Look at the vape. What's up there, sweetheart? How you doing? Come up and see me sometime, she says. She's in the great white fucking north. How's Trudeau doing? 
Does he miss Obama yet? <laughs> he hates Trump. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm not shitting on Canadians. Trust me. I, you guys are fucking cool. Uh, you know, fucking, I, I worked with a lot of people from Canada. Joe, you're in top form. I see you recovered nicely. I do feel great, Vape, and thank you so much. We all miss Obama. <laughs> I like that you put the fucking laughing faces. So I know you're joshing. Um, but I'm doing better, but uh, I have to be very careful with physical activity. Just sitting and, and, and bullshitting, you know, I mean, I could fucking do that all day long. But uh, uh, moving, I had to help my daughter get back to college, I was telling you guys yesterday. And I moved, I had to move some stuff. And my son wasn't there because he was at work. And it was my daughter, my wife, and me. So I went on and go, hey, no, one of you guys pick up that heavy thing. I had to do it. It fucking hurt, man. Anyone who hates Trump should be galvanized. Dude, you should do a swimsuit issue. You know what? You're the second or third or tenth or hundredth person to tell me that. And I love the idea. My only issue is with four a year, I got to, I got to, and not that it's anything wrong. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's not like Seinfeld, but to do a whole issue, I can do a cover and a big, you know, like a double feature on it. But I don't know if I want to, because I, I, I want to keep Lee Priest's column and Greg's columns coming back, and um, and fucking uh, uh, you know uh, Jerry Ward and those guys and Jason Genova, Big C, Caleb. Um, uh, I'm hoping you feel better as well. Thank you, Jared's journey. <laughs> Physical activity does that include jerking off. Well, so far that hasn't hurt yet because <laughs> I've gotten back to that. A supplemental issue. I don't mind doing that. You mean like a like an in betweener, like after a month and a half? I don't mind doing that I, as long as I have the ads to cover it. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you guys saw um, a couple issues ago. I was in the high 70s. And the new issue with Frank on the cover is got 48 pages. And that's because a lot of my regulars are SARMs companies and things like that. And they got fucking taken down. They got hurt. They got, you know, the government fucked them. So they, you know, they, they're not going to take an ad out if their site's fucking down. Bro, what Disney character would you like to bang? I guess like a princess of some kind. You know, not like a, I'm not a furry kind of guy. I can say Minnie Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Heal up. I'm trying. Pirate ship and call Sesame Timbers. Do you think ephedra is dangerous? Well, the original one, yes, because, you know, pro athletes have died from it. But you also got to remember, these are guys that were overweight, out of shape, taking way too much of that shit and then working out in real bad conditions heat-wise and not drinking enough fluids. So that's the problem. Take care. I'm bouncing. Got to hit the gym. Gerard. Hang in there. Remember, my number is fucking your number. Anytime you need to just say, hey, what the fuck's up? You please text, call, FaceTime, whatever. Just make sure if you FaceTime, please be naked. Those women market the fuck out of it. Try to get suit designers to sponsor. I'm actually working on a couple of suits. I had one ad. They came in and then they, uh, you know, it's a lot of these people. They expect they're going to get a million dollars worth of sales if they take out one half page ad in one fucking issue when they don't see that. It's like, oh, I'm not spending another hundred dollars or whatever it costs them. Pocahontas likes golden showers. She would be a good one to get it off of, you know, because she's got that fucking loincloth thing on. I'm sure she wasn't wearing fucking, uh, you know, uh, you know, Fredericks of Hollywood. <laughs> they don't even rap for shit anymore. Guys, we're going to be cut off. So please let me one more time thank our newest sponsor. LegalSteroids.com, also SDI-Labs.com. For gearing up, you'll see here every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on this here, my sport, channel, my sport Mac channel. Crystal will be on tonight. Crystal.Wildfire.Anthony, her channel for Wildfire Weekly. And we'll see you tomorrow. You got me three days in a row. Fuck it. You guys are going to fucking throw up. For uh, Anabolic Presents, Ask Me Anything. Thank you so much to the family for joining us. You suck it off the loin. <laughs> NPC Loyal Athletes. You're right. We use any athletes and the athletes that deserve it. How's that? <laughs> on merit. Later. See you guys uh, on Crystal Show tonight and tomorrow.